You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Hi, friends. How are you? Welcome back to The Rachel LaForce Show. That's right. It's me, Rachel LaForce. I'm your host, and this is my show. This is a spiritual podcast from a comedian because healing <laughs> is hilarious. It is so funny how hard we make a uh, living. We, we make it really hard uh, because there are so many things that happen to us um, that are out of our control, and then somehow the things that are, are, that are in our control, we like to just just really run amok. You know, I know it's not just me. It's not just me. So I wanted to take a minute. First of all, how are you? So rude. I just started talking at you. Didn't even ask how are you? I wanted to take a moment and talk about this idea of self gatekeeping. If you follow me on social media, you've probably seen, I've done a few uh, podcasts ep- or a, a few reels about that. I've been talking about it. It's a lot of the crux, right? Of um, fit and famous is this idea of like, I'm no longer gatekeeping these things for myself. I'm going after them and getting them for what they mean for me. Right. Cause we do get gatekeep from ourselves in regards to our body. Right. It's like, Oh, if I look a certain way, uh, you know, then I will feel blank or then, you know, and it's like this idea of like other people will like our body and then we'll feel better rather than being like, dog, it's like your own fucking physical vessel. Are you kidding me? Like, what are we doing? Same thing with fame, right? It's this idea is like, well, everybody else has to be on board or, you know, I have to get, well, let's go traditional fame. I have to get an agent or I have to be on TV or I have to have a million subscribers on, you know, whatever. And it's like, Yes, that is a uh, the traditional version of like what it means to be famous, but also it's like, could it be as easy as just declaring that it's a thing you want and like creating it? I don't know, but we're going to find out because that's the declaration that I've made. So we're about to find out over the next 20 months. But the point is, there's so much that you gatekeep from yourself that you could have almost in an instant, Right. Like this idea, I'm going to close my eyes for a second, this idea of transforming our lives and creating a life that we love or living fulfilled and that we do one of two things. We get in our own way so it actually takes longer for the quote unquote manifestation to come through or right if you're like, oh my God, why can't I like, you know, find somebody who's good for me? It's like probably because you keep going on third dates with people who are fucking assholes, right? Like maybe that's the move. And, uh, not, not blaming you. Okay. Just saying I've been there or, you know, where it's like, Oh my gosh. Like I know for me right now, it's like, why can I not drop any of this weight? I can't drop any of this weight. It's like, well, if you're not doing anything different, then right. Nothing changes if nothing changes. And so we create these narratives that things are hard for us, or if only we had blank, right. We're always leaving that the key is outside of ourselves. And y'all know, I love to say this. I'm like, bitch, the call is coming from inside the house. You know, like you are the one with the national treasure. Okay. Like we, we just are. And I think part of that is probably human, right? It's probably part of this experience that it's like, that's what we come here to learn is like, ultimately I feel like so much we're here to learn is like how to just get out of our own fucking way. I mean, really it it's like, it's definitely a video game if it comes to that, right? We're all just out here. We're our own version of, you know, Mario trying to get to Princess Peach and we're just making it so much harder. And so today I want to offer you a few insights on how to begin to recognize that you're gatekeeping from yourself, right? Uh, you guys know that we did our first, if you're listening to this relatively in real time, but this is also uh, evergreen. So if you're listening to this six months from now, don't fret mama. Okay. Uh, we did our first free workshop last Sunday. That would have been September 8th on the day that I'm recording this would have been last Sunday. And, 
It's all about activating your life force energy, right? And I left you with five points of discipline that are rinse and repeat that you can continue to take your goals, your transformation, what you're working on, and you can plug it into this five-point system and, and run it through. This is something that you can use for all of the transformation in your life, right? We'll link that in the show notes here so you can go and listen to it. It's also available. Uh, it lives on my Substack, So you can just go there, hang this up and just go hang it up. We're not on the phone. It feels like we're on the phone. Turn this off and go to Substack. You can watch it right now if you want, okay? But within that idea of activating your life force energy, so much of it is talking about the way that we do that is by getting out of our own way. Right. And so that's exactly what this idea of stop gatekeeping from yourself, stop gatekeeping yourself from getting the thing that you really want. Right. Like a symbol that's very important to me. It's on my website. You've maybe seen it in my socials. I use it a lot when I'm um, leaving comments and things is a lightning bolt because, you know, it's like everybody wants to catch lightning. Everybody wants to know, like, when are my dreams going to come true? Right. People come to me all the time for intuitive readings. And if they want to find love or they're seeking this, you know, they want to make $10,000 a month or like whatever this thing is. And everybody wants to know when is that lightning going to strike? Meanwhile, nobody's out working in the middle of the storm. If you want to see lightning, you got to get where the action is. Right. So it's like you have to learn to get into your own storm and figure shit out. And that's how you're going to catch lightning. That's how you're going to see it. Right. That in fact, we, our lives can change as fast as lightning, right? We can shift our life incredibly fast because it's right at the Malcolm Gladwell. It's the tipping point that, um, and I'm going to throw another, uh, you know, um, not a cliche, but just another, just kind of trite passive, uh, Rachel force quote, right? It's like, uh, people say this to mothers all the time. Like the, um, the days are long, but the years are short. And that's what I talk about. Like with a blink of an eye, you can change your life, right? I mean, six and a half years has been a long time. It's been a long time. Mama's done a lot in a long time. But in almost seven years, I went from not having any money in the bank, being single, freshly sober, living in Los Angeles, not knowing what I'm doing, to building a six-figure business being a mother, still sober. I have two beautiful boys. We've moved our life. We've uh, purchased a building. We've got a uh, production studio space now. We're moving on a comedy club. I have this podcast. Like all of the things that I was wanting to call into my life, all of the things that I wanted to do. I have a like a spiritual, you know, mentorship practice. Like all of these things we created, and that's a lot to create within six and a half years. I would say that's catching lightning. Right. And frankly, I probably could have done it faster, even if the other things I would have gotten out of my fucking way. Okay. Still working on it. All right. You're looking at a work in progress. You're welcome. Dare I say master pace. Okay. So that's what I want to offer to you is the first thing is mindset. The first thing is mindset. It's not, oh, well, when I get this agent, then I'll get these bigger, you know, auditions or, oh, once I find this partner, then my life will be complete. Oh, once I, you know, lose this weight, then I will love my body. Once I, you know, get out of this debt, then I'll be responsible with money. We have all of these, because here's what's happening is we're saying, once this happens, then like the, the equation, the formula we're creating is once this happens, then this will be the different outcome. But what is in the outcome is what has to come first. I'm going to say that again. This is the equation that you are currently operating under. If you're still gatekeeping yourself, you're saying when blank happens, then I will feel blank because you're thinking at the end of that equation is what is going to get you of like, ah, oh, now I feel fulfilled. The, let's go back to the video game idea. The video game cheat code is actually the reality that once you take what's at the end and put it, you got to reverse it, flip it and reverse it. Okay. Missy Elliott, take it, put it in the front. That's what we want to feel. What does it feel like for you to be the person that walks into the room with big Hollywood agents and you're like, boom, I'm here. What does that energy feel like? What would that feel like for you? What do you need to pull up in yourself? What self-worth things do you need to work on? What maybe there's actual skills. Do you need to get in an acting class? Do you have, when was the last time you got new headshots? Do you need to fix your resume? 
right? Like what are these actual getting in the storm to catch lightning tactile things do you need to do in order to have the outcome that you're seeking? If you're, oh, once I have this partner, then I'll feel better. Oh, I'm going into another holiday season and I'm going to be the only person in my family who's showing up without a blah, 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 blah. I am happily married and I love my husband. And also he is the person that drives me the most insane most of the time. And also uh, all of the things I don't like about myself or the things that make me feel frustrated still exist. So that may just be my opinion, but you know, chomp it up with your other friends and see if they give you anything different. The idea that you are going to have this sense of completion. I'm not negating loneliness. I want to be very clear because I've been in those places before. That's different. But this idea that that person is going to fix everything is false. What does that fulfillment piece look like? Throw that to the front of your equation, Missy Elliott. We have to begin to flip that equation. Stop gatekeeping from yourself. And that's where that work is. That everybody still wants, nobody wants to be in the storm. Everybody wants to be on a sunny day being like, oh, when are all my dreams going to come true? And if it feels like I'm being harsh and throwing shade at you, maybe I am, okay? Maybe it's time for mama to get a little rude, all right? I'm going to risk you not liking me and to just like speak the fucking truth because that's how I feel to myself where I'm like, you know, again, with all this of like getting fit and it's like, well, it's because my body's changed or with postpartum and like, well, I have a hormonal imbalance and it's good. Yes. Yes. All of those things are true. And also your hormonal balance is not going to fix itself. So us continuing to talk about things and not putting solutions in place is not going to change it. And so sometimes we fall so in love with the story of why something is hard or why it's not working that we stand in our own way from catching lightning and something working. I think that we nailed it in under 12 minutes. That's literally it. In under 12 minutes, you can change your life. Because all you have to do in order to change your life, in order to call in these things that you want, in order to feel this sense of fulfillment in a way that creates this lightning effect of whatever it is that you want, It literally only takes two things. It takes faith and it takes action. And taking those two things into your own is what's going to shift. When you, when you shift into, uh, I have faith that I'm going to find the right agency for me. I have faith that I am going to end up in the rooms that I need to, and I'm going to take action in order for that thing to happen. Great. That's how you are going to shift and change the trajectory of your life. If you decide, I have faith that the person One of the most beautiful things that somebody said to me, I'd gone through a really rough breakup with a man that I thought that I was going to marry. And uh, this was not the guy that I lived with in 2018 and that whole other story. This was probably one of the most significant people to me. Um, And he he still is. And in the ways that it's appropriate, okay. Um, But I've never loved somebody so much, but I knew that that was not where I was supposed to be long-term. And I made the choice to leave them. And it was, it still makes me emotional because I, you know, it was that feeling of like, how could I possibly leave somebody that I love so much, right? And I remember a girlfriend said to me, um, and I was like, I just, you know, when I was like really feeling lonely and, and I said, I just don't know if like where the guy that's really supposed to be for me, like, where is he? And she said, Rachel, he's on his way. He just has to learn a few more of his own lessons before he makes his way to you. And I always thought that was, it's still like, yeah, it makes me emotional that I thought that was one of the most beautiful things that I had ever heard because it's true. And Alex and I always talk about that. Like the reason that our marriage is so strong and our trust in each other and our love for each other is so strong is because we had the time to learn the lessons that we needed to with other people. We dated shitty people. And then he also has, you know, one very significant, you know, ex that was somebody that he thought he was also going to be with forever. And because we also had those very significant relationships as well, we had the experience of what does both feel like. And I know some of you may be listening to this and be like, yeah, well, I've already had both and it hasn't worked out yet. Okay. And I hear you and I'm with you, but I'm just saying that Let's go back to to faith and action. Let's go back to, I'm going to trust that that person's making their way to me, that they're also doing their work and they're making their way to me. So what is the action I can take? 
I can start actively saying to myself, I am ready to find my match. My match is out there. And you, if you want somebody who works out, you want somebody who's active, you want somebody who, you know, all of these things that you're going to say, then you are going to start leading your life that way. Right? Well, I don't want somebody that smokes. Great. Quit smoking. I want somebody who's going to get up and uh, go hiking with me in the morning. Great. Get up, go hiking. I want somebody, you have to be that energetic match. So again, get in the storm to catch lightning. It's faith in action, right? And that's the same for all of these things. If you're like, oh, once I get out of debt, then I'll respect my money. Frankly, nice idea, right? But probably the reason, and, and you may be in debt because of student loans or circumstance, right? There's all a million reasons, right? Like full disclosure, we have a decent amount of uh, like um, debt for our work right now, right? For our business. And that's simply because we were putting the effort uh, you know, to be able to go and build this business. Great. Now we're being able to rapidly, you know, take care of that debt. There was a plan. There was a reason. So you may very well be in that position, right? It doesn't mean that like you were mindlessly spending money you don't have, right? That's a different energetic alignment situation. But either one you're in by saying, oh, once it's paid off, oh, oh, well, then I'll respect my money. What can you do now to respect your money? You know, what you do is you stop like buying shit, you know, that you're not supposed to. You get smart, you figure out, you know, rather than living in secret with your debt and feel like you're drowning in it, go see a debt, uh, consult, you know, um, not consultation. What is it? Would they, uh, consolidate? There we go. Where they'll consolidate your debt, be proactive, have faith in action. You don't respect your money. Then you better motherfucking respect your money now. Cause guess what? You just added interest to motherfucker. Okay. So if there's ever a time that you need to respect your money, it's when you now have a 7% interest or whatever your interest rate is that you're paying it off. So that's all we have to do. It is so much more simple to live a fulfilled life. It is so much more simple to have this abundance, this life, this love, this idea of when I do blank, right? My mom and I used to talk about that all the time. I actually, I had a bit about it in an old solo show that I did that everybody's got quote unquote, the fucking thing. Everybody, oh, once I have that fucking thing, then everything's going to be better. Oh, once I have this fucking thing. And the thing about the fucking thing is, uh, it's not real. It doesn't exist, right? That's the lure, uh, the lure rather, a lure is something you put on a fishing rod. Um, but the lure of it is that, you know, it's like, oh, once I get to the top of the mountain, then I'm going to get this fucking thing. And you get to the top of the mountain and there's a sign that says there is no fucking thing. And so when we can, that's the same thing with gatekeeping that, that you think, oh, I'm going to get into these rooms and then, or like, especially let's talk about Hollywood. Cause that's something I have experience with where it's like, you think that like, you have to be able to overproduce and do all these things. And if only they knew, and then you're going to get in rooms with people and you're going to be pitching television to them. And you're going to go, I'm sorry, this is the person that's deciding what's going on television. Maybe we should all have a word, right? So this idea that other people have your answers or that other things are going to fix it, this idea of gatekeeping, right? It's the Wizard of Oz, right? You got there and it was like, oh, there is no great Oz. That's exactly what all of this is about. So how quickly can you take responsibility for yourself and figure out, like, I am going to anchor myself into two things, faith and action, and I'm going to allow my life to change fast as lightning. That's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, I am so excited. If you feel, I am so excited. If you feel um, very connected to this episode and decided that you still like me, despite you feel like I just yelled at you for 18 minutes, I highly encourage you to go over to my sub stack. I'm going to pull two cards um, for this because I feel this energy so strongly. And some of you may, you know, be we're all in different phases of what this kind of energy field of gatekeeping from ourself is, right? Myself included, um, right? Especially around, you know, uh, the idea of like, you know, fame and and my body, right? Which is why I've made these, these grand declarations. And um, so really figuring out like, how do I release, uh, how do I slip into faith and action with both of these things? So I'm doing the work right alongside you. Uh, and so I, I really feel called to, to pull these two cards to go deeper into these messages specifically. So if you feel that um, this has really resonated with you, 
uh, go pop over to the Substack. The show notes will be, uh, or the link will be in the show notes uh, for that. And then uh, also check out the Activate Your Life Force Energy. It's a free workshop. It's available for you for free. It's right on my Substack. Please go and take advantage of that. Again, the value in that free 60 minute, like literally all of that is how I have changed and transformed my life. So, you know, I'm working with a new brand strategist, uh, shout out to Terry Supernova, who I love more than anything. And she, you know, her thing was, she was like, you got to start bragging about, you know, the work and the stuff that you're doing. The two things can be true at once, right? We can, we can really let people know the knowledge and things that you want to share and what you have to offer and also be in action and doing it at the same time, right? We all know that we are multi-dynamic. So I really, really encourage you to go and check that out. There's so much helpful and just bite-sized um, content in there. So please go and check that out for yourself. And don't say I never did anything for you, baby. On December 8th, so December 8th, if you're listening to this before that, if you're listening to this in real time, we are going to meet again uh, because we're going to be meeting quarterly for the duration of this 12, uh, excuse me, this 20 month journey. So we're going to meet again. Okay. And you can uh, join that free workshop. So we will have the link there. You can go ahead and sign up and you will automatically be enrolled. We're making it even easier this time for you to be able to join and then get the replay link. So all of that will be in the bottom of this. Uh, I am, I have a new signature one-on-one offer that we are going to be announcing soon. I am so, so excited. I have heard from you and I know that like uh, some of you are really enjoying the Substack, and a lot of you would like to work one-on-one, but maybe it's not in your budget right now and you're looking for something that's a little bit um, more fast and furious. So we have been concocting something for you, and I'm so excited to be able to share that with you. So you will find out all about that next week, and I'm so excited to share that with you. Um, I think that's it. I think I've said I'm excited 97 times. If this was a drinking game, you'd be hammered by now. Um, I'm not endorsing you to get drunk. She's sober. Okay, you guys, this has been wonderful. Go and follow me on all the places. If you could leave me a review for this podcast, it would change my life, okay? If you want to catch lightning, help a girl out. Can you help this gal catch some lightning, okay? Because although we just talked about gatekeeping, unless I wrote a million uh, fake comments for myself, uh, I need you to help me do this, okay? This is, I need your help. So go ahead and leave me a review. You can do that on Apple. You can do that on Spotify. All of that will be here in the show notes. I've been Rachel LaForce. You have been phenomenal. I'm so proud of you. I really want you to know that. I know that doing this work is so difficult and it asks a lot of us and it feels like the peaks and the valleys. And as soon as we get to the top and then all of a sudden we fall down again and it's like, what the fuck just happened? I thought I had it. And then this, and it's humbling and it's rough and tumble and it is so fucking gratifying. And I see the work that you're doing and hearing from all of you and knowing that you are lighting up and you're going into the world and spreading that light despite the difficulty, despite the pain, despite the uncomfortability is fucking badass. And I just want you to know that. And I love you so much. And I'll see you next week. Time, weather, and... Always. Pass.